Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're all doing really well. I took a break from what I eat in a day videos over the holidays just because my diet devolved into chaos. Let's be honest. I made a lot of cookies. I ate a lot of cookies and I'm fine with that. I enjoy indulging over the holidays, especially because a lot of dishes just carry so many happy childhood holiday memories with them. So I think it's fun to reconnect with those. But I must say over the past couple weeks, I have been so motivated to eat healthy again. Some of you may know in 2018, I found it so hard to stay motivated with fitness. I was very inconsistent about it. Past couple weeks, I've just been so motivated to go to the gym regularly, to get strong again. It doesn't feel like I have to push myself anymore. So I thought this would be a perfect time to give you an example of what my diet has been looking like lately. Also, I just wanted a chance to reconnect with you guys. I took a bit of a step back from social media at the end of 2018 just to reevaluate the direction I wanted to take this channel in, brainstormed a lot of great ideas. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys again in this video, show you some projects I'm working on, things I'm excited about and um, some recipes on top of that. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare, which I'll talk a little bit about later, but I'm starting the what I eat in a day video after getting back home from the gym. So enjoy. Since I rejoined the gym, I have been trying to work out in the mornings, which I like because it's nice to knock something off your to-do list first thing in the morning and then you have that sense of accomplishment to carry you throughout the rest of your day. I have been alternating weightlifting and cardio, nothing crazy. Some days I'll do my couch to 5K workout. Sometimes I'll just like bump up the incline on the treadmill. Do like an incline power walk kind of thing. Sometimes I use a stationary bike. I'm on a push pull legs split for my weightlifting. On days that I weightlift, I come home and I make a protein shake. I don't really love protein shakes, but it's just an efficient way to get in protein. And especially because I add um, greens powder, so you're just sneaking in some extra nutrients there. This is the greens powder I've been using forever. It's by Amazing Grass. It's chocolate flavor. I think this is the one that tastes the least bad of all the greens powders I've tried. I have a lot of different plant-based proteins in my cupboard and I kind of just cycle through them. I prefer raw ones because they digest better for me. Today I'm gonna use the Live Well raw plant protein, raw cacao flavor. I'm just using water today. Sometimes I'll use unsweetened soy milk or almond milk. And it makes it taste a little bit better, a little creamier, but I'm just gonna chug this either way, so. So I'm actually going to drink this while I do my daily journaling, my morning pages. And I also have this Rebel Reishi cold brew drink, which I drank half of this morning before, kind of like as a pre-workout, caffeine pick me up. I'm gonna drink the rest now. I'm obsessed with these, talk about them all the time, and they were on sale at Sprouts, so I stocked up. This is the one that doesn't have any added sugar, so I usually add a couple drops of stevia and it just makes it taste fantastic. So I'm gonna do my, get my drink on, get my journal on, and um, start my work day. But actually first I'm gonna change out of my sweaty gym clothes. I fill out three pages in my journal every morning, usually while I'm drinking my coffee, and then I move on to reviewing my planner for the day. Every night I try to write out the main tasks that I need to accomplish the next day and then I'll review that the following morning and add any little details that I might need to. And I've been experimenting with different time blocking methods lately. This week I have been trying the Pomodoro method and it's actually helped me be so much more productive. With this method you work on tasks in 25 minute intervals and then you take a short break in between. And then every four rounds you take a longer break. Another thing I've been doing is actually time blocking for creative writing because it's my goal to self-publish a book of poetry this year. So not only do I time block tasks for work, but I also make sure to make time for creative pursuits, which you'll see a little bit more of later in this video. I've been making a quick veggie wrap as one of my go-to lunches lately. I use whole wheat lavash bread and I prep some sliced tomatoes and cucumbers for a couple days at a time using my mandolin. And then today I spread on some spicy red pepper hummus from Sprouts and I added some avocado, some of the tomato and cucumber, as well as some banana peppers and some roasted red pepper strips and some spinach.
And now this step is optional, but I got a cast iron skillet for Christmas, which I love, and I've been using it to grill my wraps and burritos. I, I don't heat it all the way through, I just let it get a little crispy and golden brown on both sides, and it's really good. Okay, we've got late breakfast slash early lunch. Mm, this hummus is actually spicy. A lot of times packaging will say something's really spicy, and then it's just kind of mild, in my opinion at least, but it was actually pretty, pretty decently spicy. Mmm! Seriously, next time you're at Sprouts, grab this whole wheat lavash bread. It's so good. You guys, I just had a package delivered that I wasn't expecting. It's from my mom. She had a box of goodies from the herbivorous butcher sent to me. They're a vegan butcher. They're based in Minnesota and I follow them on Instagram and they have all the most epic products and I've been wanting to try their stuff for the longest time. So I'm gonna do an unboxing right now. Herbivorous butcher, meat-free meats, cheese-free cheeses. Oh my God, so many goodies. We've got a couple different kinds of jerky. The Cajun flavor, salt and pepper, and teriyaki. We've got Korean barbecue ribs. These look exactly like real ribs that you would buy in like the freezer section at an Asian market. Smoky house ribs, oh my goodness. Some of their hickory smoked bacon. This is what I'm most excited to try. And then sriracha brats, look at these. Maybe I'll do a little taste test video later on in the week. I'm very excited to try everything. Thank you mom, if you're watching. Oh wait, 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 I actually need to send a picture of all this to Eric because I bet he'll be really excited to see all this too. I want to take a few quick seconds to shout out today's video sponsor who I have worked with before. Skillshare is an online learning community. They offer over 25,000 courses on topics ranging from design to business to cooking and more. And they are the perfect resource if you're wanting to take your career or your creative hobby to the next level. So for example, in 2018, I used Skillshare courses to learn so much about photography and editing videos. And I'm currently following along with a couple of courses for guitar, specifically finger picking and just learning how to read music. I actually just started taking in-person lessons as well for piano and voice. And it's just really nice to have a more affordable, convenient online option for guitar to supplement those. Premium membership's only about $10 a month, but Skillshare is currently offering completely free two month unlimited access free trial to the first 500 people who click on the link in the description box below. I think you'll absolutely love it if you're someone like me who is always wanting to be constantly learning, who's always listening to audiobooks and interviews and lectures online. And if you're just pumped to make 2019 your year, learn a lot, grow as much as possible, check it out down below. Taking a break from editing, I'm gonna have lunch. I have leftovers from two days ago. This is baked teriyaki tofu, some stir-fried onions and peppers, some steamed broccoli, and some jasmine rice, super simple. I haven't been all out meal prepping lately, but I have been every time I prepare a recipe for dinner. I try to make a little bit extra just so I have leftovers for a day or two to have for lunch. And I'm doing this on purpose. I'm trying to simplify all of the meals that I eat day to day because I feel as if in 2018, I just got so burnt out of cooking and, and shopping for cooking and cleaning up after cooking. And it's something that I used to love doing for hours at a time. And I, I was always so excited to test out new recipes and share those with other people. And then it became my job. And that's something I'm really grateful for, but it just added an extra layer of pressure. And then on top of that, you're dealing with what other people might want to see and you're dealing with deadlines and, and schedules and all of that. So I feel like when something becomes your job, especially if it's something that was a hobby before and it was a creative hobby, a creative outlet, I don't know, sometimes you can get a little burnt out of it and lose sight of why you started. So I really wanna revamp Sarah's Vegan Kitchen in 2019 and kind of return to my roots, be more creative and adventurous with the foods and the recipes that I share on the channel. And in order to do that, I wanna simplify everything else that I'm eating off camera. I'm gonna to try to meal prep a lot. I'm gonna repeat meals for maybe a week at a time, just so that I can remove the fatigue of making decisions about food constantly, so that when I do make decisions, they're inspired, creative decisions for the channel, and I can make things that I'm really proud of again. Because I just, I feel like I haven't been 
that inspired by the content I've been making, if I'm totally honest. I feel like that also shows through, but I have a really, really good feeling about 2019. I feel, I know they say you shouldn't wait till the new year to start changing your life, to start pursuing those resolutions, but something just feels like very fresh to me since the start of the new year, and I really like it. So that was a longer spiel than I had anticipated, but I'm gonna reheat this, take about half an hour to eat this, listen to more of my audiobook for lunch, and um, head back to work. Then after working for a while, I set aside a 25 minute time block to go on a walk. And I try to do this every day, unless it's snowy or really cold outside, just to clear my mind, get in some steps, get some sun. I usually listen to an audiobook while I walk, and currently I'm listening to The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. It's a really short read and I'm loving it so far. I just got another package. I, today's like a second Christmas, so I'm gonna unbox this. This one is from my friend Alex, who I met on Instagram. I'm gonna put her handle here. She sent me an assortment of vegan cookies that she made. So let's just talk about how cute this tape is. Speculus Twix bars. I feel like I have to take a bite of everything, right? Mm. These, I think, are wedding cookies. Mmm. This is like one of my favorite kinds of cookies also. Pecan bars. I used to love making pecan pie for Thanksgiving especially, but I haven't been able to find a recipe that I really, really like since I've gone vegan. These are so good. Mm. These are miso sesame cookies. It's so unexpected, this combination of flavors in a cookie, but it's really good. I'm crumbing all over. Every year during the holiday season, I make these big plans to make cookie tins for like my neighbors and my friends. And then I buy the tins, like I go to Michael's and I buy their cute holiday tins. And then I never actually make the cookie tins. It's like the most Sarah thing you've ever heard of. I just, I'm really good at planning things out. Follow through, not so good. Those were all amazing. Thank you so much, Alex, if you're watching this. Um, I also have PO Box now. If any of you want to send me like a postcard or something, that would be super sweet. And I would definitely open it and read it if you want me to on the channel. I'll have the address down below. Back to work. As I said earlier, this is the year that I've really been doing my best to make time for creativity. So after work each day, I've been trying to spend a minimum of an hour and a half on music between practicing piano, guitar, and singing, or just working on writing original songs. An hour and a half might seem like a lot of time, but to me, it's I feel like I've been so inconsistent with practicing music my entire life that this is the year I really buckled down, actually learned how to read music, and just feel like a more competent musician, and I'm really, really enjoying it so far. We're back. I'm going to make a kind of like inspired by chow mein, a noodle stir fry, but instead of using wheat noodles, I'm using a spiralized butternut squash. And I've shown squash noodles in a couple different dishes so far. And it's because I just love them so much. No joke. Like they cook down a lot, so they'll shrink. But I like if you let me, I could eat all of these in one sitting. Zucchini noodles. I like them, but I will usually have to mix them 50 50 with regular pasta to feel satisfied, but these, something about the texture and the flavor after you cook them is just really good. So all I do for these is rub a little bit of oil on them and sprinkle them with salt and pepper, and I bake them in a 425 degree oven for a little over 12 minutes. I don't know why, but it works better if you bake them rather than stir frying them. When I try to cook them on the stove in a pan, they tend to get mushy and break apart, but they really stay noodly if you roast them. A little bit of salt, fresh pepper. I think I've seen these pre-made at the store, but I have a spiralizer, so I just make my own. I'm gonna go through and trim the noodles so they're not ridiculously long. Try and spread them out evenly on the tray. I'm gonna pop them in the oven, and then I give them a toss maybe two or three times while they're cooking, just so that the ones around the edge don't burn. 
And then to stir fry with my butternut squash noodles, I have some thinly sliced Napa cabbage, some celery, minced ginger, lots of minced garlic. I've got some julienne carrots and some, what is it called? Onions. I also have some leftover seitan steak in the marinade that I made for the Miyoko's homemade vegan pantry cookbook review, which was my previous video. I'll link it down below if you haven't watched it yet and you would like to. So I think I'm gonna thinly slice this and just toss this in um, to add some protein to my noodles. Otherwise the entire dish will be entirely vegetables. Okay, let's move over to the wok. Please pardon the messy counter, I apologize. I've got my wok over medium high heat, little bit of vegetable oil in here. I think I'm actually gonna start out by kind of browning up the seitan because if you watched the cookbook review, I mentioned it's a little soft for my taste. So I wanna try and cook out a little bit of the excess moisture, maybe even crisp it up a little bit. This marinade smells so good. Okay, so I'm gonna add in the onions and the garlic and the ginger. Give those a minute or so to start cooking. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw in the rest of my veggies. I'm just gonna stir fry these until the cabbage is nice and wilted and then the celery and carrots are tender but still a little bit crisp. I don't like them to be soggy. The veggies are just about done, I think. So I'm gonna keep the seasoning really simple. I'm just gonna add a little bit of soy sauce a little drizzle of toasted sesame oil, and some chili garlic sauce to make it spicy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the heat off here. The noodles are done. You can see how much they've shrunk, right? So I am going to give these a quick toss in with the rest of my veggies. I am so ready to eat right now. It's really hot, but let's attempt to give this a try. A little bit of seitan in there. I don't know why I love these noodles so much. It has been a long day. I'm gonna go sit down on the couch and eat this. Chill out a little bit, do some reading, get into bed not too much later. That is it for this What I Eat In A Day video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really, truly appreciate you. I know this video was a bit on the longer side. I just wanted to catch you up with everything that is running through my brain at the start of this new year. And make sure to check out the link down below for two free months of Skillshare. I will see you very, very soon. Bye. Must you fix my hair? Yes. It's cold. Which one's your favorite? I think it's the wedding cookies. These are pretty good. Right? These ones and the pecan bars are my favorite. I think these are my favorite. <laughs> I'm, I have to stop. <laughs> we haven't really been eating sweets. No. Well, dinner was so healthy though. Let's be real.